All right, what is going on, y'all? How we doing? Today, we're going to be talking about something a little different than fitness. We're going to be talking about my personal clothing company, Point Blank Streetwear. I referenced it a couple times in past videos, but I haven't really explained what it is, why I do it, and, you know, kind of where, where that's at. So today, I figured I'd just talk about that. The whole point of my channel is to kind of show you guys my entire life and you know where hopefully my goals and dreams can take me and point blank streetwear is definitely a big part of that so i guess i mean it means a lot of different things to me the whole idea of point blank streetwear is still evolving as we go um, but i guess i'll just start at the beginning so i've wanted to have i've always wanted to have a clothing company i've always been into fashion and not not into anything like super expensive or you know specific but i just always love like looking fresh and people in the past have always like told me that they like the way I dress. So, you know, me, for like to me, I have a, an actual clothing company where I can customize clothes and give them to other people would be fucking awesome, you know? So that's kind of where the idea came from. It's something I've always wanted to do. The beginning of my sophomore year of high school, so this was about, this was in the, at the end of 2019 summer. That's kind of when I really started thinking about creating like clothing company. And at first I was pretty overwhelmed, I was like, you know, how the fuck am I supposed to do this? Like, how do you just create a company? You know, how do you get clothes and print on them? Like, how do you do that shit, you know? And then, I don't know, I just kept kind of looking into it. And thankfully, I had a big a big person. He's kind of like my mentor in, I guess, uh, like the clothing game. Um, his name's Justin Sugatan. He's the owner of We Grind. I'll put a link to his to his stuff in the description. Um, it's pretty dope. It's fitness merch. So you guys should definitely check that out if you if you want if you need some clothes for the gym. So I uh, he kind of he had this brand going on and it was really now at this point it's really taking off, but about a year ago it was definitely like you could see the momentum like really starting to build and like you you would look at him and what he was doing and, and you know, you'd be like oh shit like this kid's definitely going places. Actually I actually DM'd him, I, I shot him a DM and I was like look man um, I really want to start a clothing company but I'm not really sure where to start. You know, can you give me some advice? Can you give me some pointers? And thank God for him because he literally hit me back like an hour later. He's like, yeah, man, like, let's just meet up. Like, keep in mind, like, I've never even met this kid. Like, he doesn't know who I am. I don't really know who he is. So, you know, for him to just to just be like, fuck it, you know, we'll we'll sit down and go talk, whatever. It was, was really cool of him. We actually ended up talking for like an hour and a half, two hours. Uh, it was actually kind of crazy. At this point, we're like, we're really good friends now. Again, he's like my mentor, but we just kind of clicked from the beginning. And he kind of told me like the basics of how to start a clothing company and obviously the biggest challenge is uh, where you're gonna buy clothes and where you're gonna send them to get printed right so you buy clothes from whatever like a wholesaler and then you send them to a print shop and they, they print whatever design you want and they ship it to you right so that's how you get the clothes and that was kind of my biggest uh, question and yeah so so we talked for a pretty long time he basically told me everything I needed to know he offered to help out he still does help out to this day so yeah, that's that's kind of how like the initial initially it got started. I I finished talking to Justin like that day, and then that whole like fall, twenty nineteen semester, I kind of planned out, you know, what kind of clothes I started designing, you know, the kind of clothes that I wanted to print, and I kind of just kept researching and kept trying to figure out, you know, how to start a clothing company and make it successful, right? Because I didn't want to start something and then just, you know, have it flop. And I'm still a long way from making it big, very long way from making it successful, but we're definitely on the way. Anyway, so that fall semester goes by and the spring semester comes, the spring semester uh, starts. And now I'm like, I'm at the point where like, I definitely want to do this shit. You know, I've been planning out for months and months and months. Um, I'm working with Just, Justin, hitting him up constantly. We're going back and forth, you know, figuring out like logistics, what designs are gonna, we're going to do. And I forget the actual date. I think it was, it was sometime in... February when we ordered the first first batch of t-shirts and um, They were there. I'll, I'll put a link to all the point blank stuff, but I called them like mojo ringers um, They're these kind of it's like European style shirt where under the sleeves are a little cuffed So it makes you look like really big and I just put the word mojo on there and That was that was the first shirt and that that has some meaning um, It's kind of a long story. So I won't get into that but that was basically the first shirt So I remember we ordered that shit and it was crazy. Once, once, once it was ordered, it took a while. It took like six weeks to come, and I was just waiting, waiting, waiting. And like in between that time, I had spring break, right? And so I'm, I'm I was broke at this point, still am. <laughs> so I was, I was at my cousin's house, and like I, I remember one day I had nothing to do, but I was just like, I was making the website for Point Blank online. That was the day I finished the website, and then I was like, fuck, like I need a name. Like, what am I gonna name this shit? Because I just had no idea. 
So I remember I was like listening to a Post Malone song and then for whatever reason, like in that moment, I remembered an interview with Post Malone in it saying that he created his name on a name generator. So I like, I typed in the company name generator and then I ended up, there was like two, I had two tabs open and they both had the name generators on them. And then, so like they, they both had generated names and one of them was like point with like an E and then the other one, part of the name was blank. And then I, I just, I just happened to look at each, look at each tab like simultaneously and then I, I don't know it's kind of clicked point blank I fucked with it I fucked with the E at the end of the point making it like sound fancy or whatever but yeah so it kind of just clicked then I was like fuck it like this is fresh you know I could sit here like try to make something like super meaningful or you know keep thinking about something but I'm not gonna get anywhere so I kind of just threw the name on there and ran with it and everyone liked it and I fucked with it so yeah that's how I created the name as far as what the name means again not not really much but the company does mean a lot, right? So I decided, you know, my whole idea be behind starting a company was, you know, the same reason I started at YouTube. For most of my life, I've always known that I've wanted to, I guess you could say live like a different kind of life than most people, right? So I don't want to average life. I don't want to graduate college and then work in jobs that I really don't like for the rest of my life, but just so I can retire at the end for like 30 years. That just doesn't really seem appealing to me. I've always, and I know people, you know, clown me all the time for this, but I've always just wanted to travel the world, experience as much as I can, like in this short life, because you never know when it's going to be over. I've always believed that it is possible to do things differently. And honestly, that's mainly motivated by like watching YouTubers, people like, I mean, you know, fam any famous YouTuber, like, like the Paul brothers, uh, David Dobrik, Vitaly, like all, all these people have influenced me a lot because I've been able to see their content and not, not only just like process their content, but also see like what their content has allowed them to do, right? The way they live. Even uh, Jay Alvarez, right? Dude travels around the world, makes party and travel vlogs. He's able to travel the world and experience the world. And he gets it on a camera and he puts it on YouTube, right? And obviously that process is a lot more complicated than I just made it sound, but that's something that I've always wanted to do. I've always just wanted to, I, I just, I really want to wake up every day and be excited for the day, you know? and I. Do think that is definitely possible even though most people don't do that i think the reason you know most people make fun of people who want to go in that direction is because they secretly you know they're insecure that they might never have that or they know that they're going to graduate and get a regular job whatever the case may be bottom line i've always wanted to live like a different crazy ass life like my biggest fear is getting old and then regretting not like taking that chance or taking however many chances to go do what i truly love you know because i'd rather I'd rather, like, my, like the biggest thing I want out of my life is just to be happy, right? If, if you're happy, then nothing else even matters. Anyways, kind of got off track there. But I realized in that fall of 2019 that if I want to live a life like that, then I have to start working for it, right? I can't just, you know, I can't just tell myself all the time that, you know, I want to have a different life. I don't want to, you know, just graduate and get a regular job. I want to be doing something that I'm really passionate about. I realized that, you know, I, I say that stuff, but I wasn't really putting it into practice. I wasn't living like that. So that's kind of just when it hit me. I was like, well, I love clothes. I love fashion. Fuck it. Like, why don't I just make a clothing company? Like, you know, it can't be that hard. And no one knows what the fuck they're doing when they start. So that's basically where the idea came from. And that's really important because that's really like that idea of like not wanting to live a normal life and knowing that it is possible just through grinding hard work, connections and luck that is possible is really what drives me and gets me out of bed every day. But yeah, so I started Point Blank again in the spring of 2019. No, yeah, spring of 2019. And then I started with just one shirt and then they, they that went by pretty quickly. I'm about to release the, the fifth drop. So five drops in a year. It's still like, you know, when I whenever I, I'll buy a bunch of clothes, I'll sell most of them and then I'll have like a, a little bit extra that stays. I mean, it's going, it's going pretty good so far, but that's, that's really what it, you know, point blank stands for, for me is just, you know, my effort to, again, obviously make money, but like it, it's, it's my effort to make my own lane and make my own path in this world. And, but more than that though, I, I wanted to kind of inspire other people that like know me that maybe are afraid to go out and maybe chase their passion or chase whatever dreams or aspirations they have because they're scared um, of, you know, they're scared of what people will think of them or they're scared of failing. You know, if I can do it, I'm not, I'm not the smartest person. I'm not the, 
you know, I'm not a genius or anything, but you know, if people see that I can make my own lane with this clothing stuff and now with the YouTube stuff, and maybe that'll inspire other people to, to you know, go out and start their own thing. Because you, you never know. Like, if, if you work hard enough for long enough, right? Most people quit early. But, it, but if you stay consistent, like, something is eventually going to happen. You know what I mean? It might take two years. It might take five years. It might take ten years. You don't, you don't really know. But eventually, like, that, that hard work and that consistency, like, they line up eventually and they hit. And then that's when you, that's when you go big. But I guess the, you know, the catch is you never know when it's going to happen. So, if you stay till the end, please like it, please comment, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't. See y'all in the next one.